thing. This x-ray is absolutely jarring. Yes, this is an NG tube in the brain, but it highlights one of the most important safety lessons about NG tubes that nurses need to know. NG tubes are not benign, and there are specific situations where they are contraindicated because of the risk of catastrophic misplacement. One of the biggest red flags is a recent transphenoidal or skull-based surgery where the normal anatomical barriers between the nasal cavity and the brain may be disrupted. So in this case, the patient had undergone transphenoidal surgery and an NG tube was inserted obviously through the nose and then instead of entering the esophagus the tube ended up traveling intracranially it became kinked and then caused fatal injury this wasn't a placement error that you could fix it was a placement that never should have been attempted this is why ng tubes are contraindicated in patients with recent transphenoidal surgery basilar skull fractures severe facial trauma or known skull base defects in these patients the risk isn't discomfort or misplacement into the lung, it's direct intracranial injury. The nursing takeaway is critical here. For inserting an NG tube, you need to assess surgical history and contraindications, not just the order. If a patient has had skull base or transphenoidal surgery, NG insertion is unsafe and alternative routes must be used. And now this is where I want to pause and ask a hard but important question. Who do you think is actually at fault here? Because I'm sure in many states and countries, an NG tube isn't just something a nurse decides to insert on their own, it usually requires a provider's order. So this isn't just about the person who physically placed the tube, it's about clinical decision making, awareness of contraindications, and communication across the entire team. Cases like this one remind us that patient safety isn't about pointing fingers, it's about understanding that orders, procedures, and assessments don't happen in isolation, and that everyone involved has a responsibility to recognize when something isn't safe. I'm truly curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are on this.